Okay, so now I'm just going to show you how to make a wood gas stove, and these are the three tins you're going to need. Okay. The tins you're going to need is a pear half tin, a sweet corn tin, a mushy pea tin. Uh, you're just going to need a large tin, a medium sized tin, and then a smaller tin for the gas wick. Now, the top tin is the gas wick, the, lower, the tin lower than that is the uh, inner tin for the stove, and then the biggest tin is the outer tin. And on the middle tin, that's where the jet's going to be. So you can just see them stacked on top of each other. The outer tin is going to have the holes uh, for on the outside of it to let the air in. And the top tin is going to be the gas wick. The middle tin, just the inner can. You know. So here I'm marking the uh, sweet corn tin around the pear half tin. Now, uh, you just got to centre it around the... Pair, you got to centre the sweet corn tin around the pair of tin and uh, mark this mark around it, mark the perimeter of the sweet corn tin around uh, onto the pair of tin like that. And this only takes a sec, um, but you're going to need that for to cut out your hole. Uh, we just use a permanent marker, uh, sharpie, and we'll do it. It's not that important. Now, what you want to do is just a centimeter shorter than the outer line. You want to mark another line. Uh, you're going to cut a hole in that um, and then you're going to cut slits to the outer line that'll make a kind of a spring loaded fit uh, for the inner tin so here's us cutting out the uh, hole we just use a reamer on a swiss army knife uh, you can use a knife, scissors, whatever you have to hand and we're cutting out the smaller circle first so that we can cut the slits out to the large circle Okay, so here's a close up of it um, being cut it's just a reamer, it's just a reamer and then you push down and it'll make a little hole and you make holes around the circle and then it'll pop out. Now you can see that the circle has been cut out and you just break, you just uh, kind of break off the last little few tabs there that are left on. Um, and you can see inside there those pears, those pears are really tasty. There's just a back view of it, just so you can see it a bit better. Um, if you look, you can see the way it's still attached on by just two little points, two little kind of um, threads, kind of. Now pour out your the contents of the larger tin, which is the pair halves, into a bowl. Um, drain out all the liquid, and then just throw in uh, the solid food, uh, and then eat it later. You know, the, this is all really cheap stuff. Now when it's empty, it should look like that. Uh, you just wash it out after you've emptied out everything, and you should have a small circle, then your outer circle lined, um, and there shouldn't be anything in the tin. If it's, It doesn't have to be dry, because you'll be setting a fire in it, so it'll dry itself. Now it could slits to the outer uh, line, now that's going to make a friction fit, so that uh, the it'll make a kind of spring load the inner can, so it'll be a friction fit. Now when you have the, all the slits cut the outer, to the outer line, you want to bend them in a bit uh, just so that the sweet corn tin will fit in easier and uh, to kind of get it prepared. And now you want to cut the lid off the sweet corn tin. I recommend you use a top cut can opener. Here we just use the can opener on a Swiss Army knife. You want to keep the rim for stability and it also locks in place when you put it into the outer tin. Uh, once it's off, you'll see uh, that the rim is still attached, and this, there's sweet corn in there. It adds stability and lock into the rim, like lock into the hole, like I already said. Uh, so just so it won't fall through back into the tin. Uh, now in the outer tin, which is the pair half tin, you want to drill holes about six meter, six millimeters in diameter, and two centimeters apart. Um, that's all. That's all the holes you have to make on that tin. We just used a big nail, a six mil nail, and there they are, close up. Um, if you're going to drill them, I recommend you first of all drill a pre, you pre-drill a hole so that the drill just doesn't go everywhere. But uh, you can see ours are kind of jagged there. If you look at the wood gas stove, you'll see that they're clean. Uh, and also on the uh, sweet corn tin, you want to drill uh, six mil holes, two centimeters apart, towards the top for the jets, and also you want to drill a mesh of holes in the bottom part of the can. Uh, to allow air to flow through 
and there's a close up of those holes. Same thing again, it was just a big nail, and uh, two centimeters apart, six mil nail. But you can just use six mil drill bit, metal drill bit, of course, um, or a screw, whatever, or even a knife, and just make holes. And now that's fitting the two tins together. Uh, you push them into, you push the sweet corn tin into the slits, and that'll make a kind of a spring loaded. You also want to make sure that the slits are smaller than the gap uh, between the rim and the hole on the jets on the um, on the sweet corn tin, because if if the slits are larger than that, they'll block the jets. And now you can just see it just being pushed in. It's really simple uh, to push in, and it won't come back out. And there it is when it's constructed. You can also see the uh, mesh of holes down at the bottom for airflow. And you can see the jets, and you can see the weights pushed in, and you can see the rim, the weights locked in the hole. Now here's some videos of it um, lit with the gas wick. We put a gas wick on. Uh, we showed the tin that we used, the mushy pea tin. Um, nice kind of blue orange flame. There will be a video at the end of this of just the uh, of the of it burning. There's the gas wick. You can see it. Uh, I used my phone camera. It's a Sony Ericsson CyberShot. The video ca the video quality is not great, but the camera's fine. The pictures are really good. 3.2 megapixel, but the CyberShot makes it kind of better. You can see some more pictures of it burning. I didn't have my normal camera to hand because I was in my friend's house, so. Uh, I made this with my friend, for my friend. So, um, the video quality is not great, but you can just see here's another video, here's another picture of the gas wick when it's lit. And this video is going to be of it um, being lit when we're lighting it, not when the jets are lit, but when as it's being lit, we use a cotton ball to light it. There you can see, you can see it's close up, it's not great quality, but a close up of it being lit. There's a gas wick, there's a pot. Uh, we just used an old kitchen pot, and there it is. You can see it's working really well. Um, and we just started it up, you know, light it from the top, of course. And I'm just poking it with a stick there, just to get the uh, just move the ash around and all. Um, so it'll have a good even burn. And there's thumbs up. Thanks for watching.